So we just got back from Walmart, Costco, and Sprouts, and I spent so much money. Leave me a comment down below how much you think I spent. And look at all these tomatoes. We had frost last night, so we picked all these yesterday. Oh my goodness, we have tons. Okay, I am going to get this all set out and then I will show you everything I got. So if you saw my last grocery haul video to Costco, I was stocking up on things. I'm not a prepper, but I did realize that over the last 11 years that I've been doing all of our household shopping since we've been married, I pretty much only have two weeks worth of food on hand at a time. And in if you learned anything from 2020 this year, that's not the best philosophy. And so I've been trying to like stock up. I'm not like food prepping. I just want to have stuff on hand because our next grocery sh trip shopping week is going to be the week of election. I don't know what's going to happen during that. So I, I don't even want to go out that week um, because, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. And I pretty much just have everything on hand that we're going to need for a while. So I stocked up a little bit. I didn't go overboard, but I'm stocking up on stuff that we're gonna actually use um, and not just sit in the pantry. It'll be stuff that we're actually actively using. So we'll be set for quite a while if um, we can't get out to the store or, you know, the next couple grocery shopping trips will probably be a little bit cheaper. Okay, so I've got everything laid out and I'm gonna show you what we got first at Sprouts and then Walmart and then Costco. Um, I have not been to Sprouts in probably like six months. <laughs> at least. Um, I don't know why. I think I've just been shopping closer to home like at Smith's and Costco and a little bit here and there at Walmart. But the reason why I went to Sprouts is I love Sprouts. I used to go like once a month or a couple times a month because um, they have great pro produce and just I love all their stuff. But um, they have some supplements that I needed. Now we buy like 95% of our supplements from Earthly. Um, I've been using their supplements for like the last two and a half years, almost three years, and we absolutely love them. Um, I will leave a link down below if you guys want to check them out. Like they have products for everything. Um, but we normally buy their stuff, but there's a few things here at Sprouts that I got that I couldn't get there. Um, so I'll show you. I got those, and that's kind of what makes the bulk of the purchase is these supplements. Because supplements are so expensive. Um, so yeah, let me show you um, what we got at Sprouts. Alright, so we got some Epsom salt here. This is a little bit more expensive than Walmart, which I didn't realize at the time that we were going to be running into Walmart. So I should have just waited, but um, we were out of Epsom salt, and I love giving Faith an Epsom, Epsom salt before bath, because it helps relax her, because she just does not sleep very good. Um, so this, I think, was like $7 for this bag which is a couple dollars more than Walmart, but oh well. Okay, so this is one of my absolute favorite products to have on hand is um, the Sovereign Silver Colloidal Silver, and this is the only brand that we use. Now, I'm not a firm believer in using this all the time. I believe that it should only be used as necessary, so we don't take this on a regular basis. We take this in place of antibiotics. Um, I've used it like for pink eye and... Um, sinus infection. Faith last month or a couple months ago had a suspected UTI. So I treated her with this and we just treat it like UTI and it cleared it up just fine. I will link this down in my Amazon storefront because you can also get this on Amazon but um, I just ended up getting it at Sprouts today. You can get it like in a spray top. I just get it in the dropper bottle or you can even get it like in a nasal spray top but this is something that you always want to have on hand. I also got some of this. I, I don't know how to say that. Astragalus? I don't know. Anyways, this is a, um, I think an antiviral type um, herb. I'm not 100% sure. I remember reading that this is a really good herb to have on hand right now, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so this was on sale. I got this in pill form, which we ran out of our bottle of this um, probably a couple weeks ago. So I wanted to have that on hand. And then I also got the tincture of it since the kids can't swallow pills. So I just put a little bit of this in their juice. Um, we don't take this on a regular basis. We just take it like when we're sick or as a preventative or something like that. Um, so those, I think both of those were on sale. And then also these two here, um, the L-carnitine, I think so you say it, and then the methylfolate. These are actually for my husband because, um, yes, we're trying to get pregnant with baby number three. So I have a whole concoction of stuff for him to take. And this is everything that he, well, not everything, but part of this is um, what we took last time we were successful. Then I got some castor oil. I make soap and... Um, I ran out of castor oil, and then also I had a, um, a cyst rupture last night, an ovarian cyst, and it was super painful, and I used to do castor oil packs, and so I thought I should probably start doing them again just because of that experience. And then also I got some argan oil. I like using this on my face. I'm going to make some anti-aging um, cream with this, but I just put this straight on my face, and I actually 
alternate between the argan oil and the jojoba oil, um, which I just ran out of last time, so I wanted to try the argan oil. I, th I like this one a little bit better. They didn't have the normal brand that I get, but this is pure argan oil, so I'm happy with that. I got some parchment paper. I specifically wanted the unbleached because um, I make soap and I'll use my regular one that I have that I got last time if you saw my last grocery haul. I'll use that one for soap and then this one for making sourdough bread since it's the unbleached. And then for the meat, I got some of this um, chicken, the Italian, sweet Italian chicken sausage. This stuff is so good. I use this for soup. So I got four links here, um, which will be for two meals. I also got some uncured bacon because we have tons of tomatoes and fresh made bread. So we're gonna have BLTs probably tonight. And then also they had drumsticks um, on sale for 99 cents a pound. So I got a package of that because I love doing a crock pot meal with that. And yes, I wanna do a video of that so you guys can see that. I got some coconut aminos. I don't do soy. I try to avoid it when possible. So this is like the best um, substitute for that. And then also I got, I'm not sure which one's which. I think these are the, the white navy beans and this is for soup recipe and then this is also for soup recipe and this is the um, great northern beans cheaper to like buy the beans in bulk than in cans okay so then i got some flaxseed ground flaxseed because we're almost out i like using this in our oatmeal and um, our bread and um, sprouts had a dollar off coupon for this so that was nice because i needed some and then also i got some more cornstarch for soups i like their brand because it's non-gmo we are out of apple cider vinegar, so I got some apple cider vinegar, and then some of this Earth, Earth Balance. This is what I use for my butter spread. And then this is one of the better brands of non-dairy yogurt. These were on sale, plus I had a 50% off, or not 50%, a 50 cent off coupon, and I like this in my granola. I just got one because I do like half, so this will be like two meals, and it's, I think it came out to be a dollar, which is still kind of expensive, but I just wanted a treat, and plus I had a coupon. All right, we are almost at a barbecue sauce, so this is one of the brands that we like, the Sticky Sweet by Stubbs. I got some grape juice. This is for our uh, water kefir, so this is actually going to last a really long time because we only use like maybe a third or half cup for each batch. And then also I got some ranch dressing because we're almost out. Okay, so now for the produce, they had grapes on sale for 88 cents a pound. They also had Brussels sprouts on sale and I love roasting these up. Oh my goodness, it's so good. So this is, will last a couple meals because we don't really eat that much of it, so that'll be great. And then also I got some cilantro to make um, salsa and pico de gallo and some limes for that raisin as well. We're out of garlic, so I got a bunch of garlic. And then I got celery because it's soup season. I'm just gonna chop this up and freeze it. We'll probably also eat a little bit with our hummus. I got some potatoes and two um, heads, or not heads, like the whole thing. These are bigger than the romaine hearts. Um, I guess they're, I guess, yeah, you call them heads. <laughs> two heads of romaine. Okay, so then we went to Walmart. And the reason why we went to Walmart is to get ink for our printer. It was $123 for these two things of ink. Oh my goodness, but it was a business expense so we didn't actually have to like pay for it out of our, you know, grocery money or whatever. So because we ran into Walmart really quick as a, our third stop that we did, I ended up getting the stuff at Sprouts that I forgot or didn't have. Um, I was getting some low, low on some seasonings and Sprouts was completely out of basil. I'm almost out of basil. And then they were completely out of cumin and um, also I didn't see any chili powder. Um, well, actually, I think I forgot to look for chili powder because when I was looking at all the seasonings at Walmart, I was like, oh yeah, we need chili powder too. So I've got those. And then I also forgot to get black beans when I got my other beans, the white beans. So I got a big thing of black beans and then also some lentils I forgot to get at Sprouts as well. We have a recipe that we make with red lentils. It's a soup. It's so good. And then also I got some honey ham because Costco didn't have the one I got last time, which was actually really good. So we like to have this on hand if we have like grilled cheese sandwiches or we'll just fry this up and the kids will eat it with eggs and stuff and then also we got more cheese for pizza and then I also got this plant butter which I love to use for baking okay so now here is Costco I spent two fifty six forty two. we got three bags of salt and those are still in the car and if you saw my last Costco haul yes I bought three more of that last one but man you guys we live here in Utah and we have hard water so we wanted to stock up we had ran out last time and it seems like when you run out you have to use a lot to like kind of get it back to where it is so we got three bags of softener salt, and then over here, we were kind of low and out of a lot of things. So pepper, I didn't realize when I was baking the other day, we were like almost out of pepper. We only have like a tiny bit left. So I got some pepper, 
and we're almost out of salt as well. So um, this is what I use for baking. I like the pink Himalayan salt, um, but this is just easier to measure for baking. So we had like a tiny, probably like a tablespoon of the salt. So we got salt. And then also I got the um, Himalayan salt because we love the salt grinder and we ran out probably sometime last week or earlier this week, today's Friday. And so we've been using um, what we had up there. So yeah, we were just about out of salt. And then also we are, we probably only have like a quarter left of cinnamon and we go through a lot, especially now with like all the baking and stuff we're doing. So I just wanted to stock up and this is only like a couple dollars. All right, and then honey, again, we do lots of baking. So we only have probably like half a cup of honey left. So I love um, using this for when I make homemade elderberry syrup, which I'm gonna make a lot of that throughout this winter. So I just like to have a lot of honey on hand. And then also we're almost out of peanut butter and I like to rotate between the almond butter, peanut butter, and they have another nut butter, which is like cashew almond butter with pumpkin seeds and chia seeds. It's so good. It's a little bit more expensive than this, but I haven't bought straight almond butter in a while. So I thought I would just get that. We were almost out of coconut oil. So I got some coconut oil and then also some orange juice. Cause if you saw my last haul, I got the unfiltered apple juice and that stuff was so good. I wanted to get another um, bottle of it just to have on hand, but it's like $10 and yeah, it was just a special treat, but this is like our normal thing. And I know I've mentioned this before, but um, we actually, this calls, the recipe says, or the, the recipe on the can says to fill it three times, but we do four cans because it just makes it go a little bit longer. All right, we got some more frozen broccoli because in my last haul, the kids, I said they love it and I should have gotten two bags and yes, I should have gotten two. So we got another one. And then also we ran out of blueberries earlier this week. We don't make smoothies as much in the winter just because it's so cold, but we do eat this in our oatmeal and we like it in muffins and pancakes and on our waffles and stuff. So I got a bag of that. And then we were kind of low on chicken. I bought one of these last time, but I bought another one because we've been going through a lot of chicken lately. And I love the chicken thighs. And these, I was so excited because they're normally like two sixty nine dollars a pound and they were $1.99 a pound. So I should have gotten a couple of them because um, like this whole package was like $15 and normally it's like $23 or $24, depending on the size of the package you get. So I don't know if they, there was no like sign saying that it was marked down or anything. It's just, I don't know if that's the normal price or if it's just on sale, but I was super excited that it was only $1.99 a pound. Okay, and then I got some more pumpkin seeds um, because we like these in our granola and these were on sale, so I definitely wanted to stock up. And then also we got sliced almonds because we also use this in our granola, and when I made granola earlier this week, I used the last of it. Um, these are just nice add-ins to have just to kind of stretch the granola a little bit further. Okay, and then we got some bananas. The kids go through phases where they'll eat a bunch of bananas, um, and then sometimes they'll just sit on the counter. So depending on whether they eat them or not, we'll just make muffins if they don't end up eating them. Um, I got this giant bag of onions. These onions are like huge. They're like, I mean, look how huge they are. Um, these, this bag came out to be like 44 cents a pound. And normally I don't go through this many onions, but it seems like we've been going through a lot lately, especially because now we're going to be making soups and stuff. I just want to have lots of onions on hand. And then also I want to try making onion broth like the Needy Homesteader does. I'll leave a link down um, below so that way you can check it out if you want to see her she uses it in place of like broth and stuff and soups so I thought if we can't get through all these onions we can make that and I think it'd be great I also got a bag of lemons because I like drinking lemon water and it's been a while since I've um, gotten lemons so I want to get back into drinking that um, and then also I use the peels to make uh, my homemade cleaner so I just thought that'd be nice to have on hand so I don't ever run out of cleaner stuff and then over here I got another bag of these potatoes because we just absolutely love these potatoes and then also I got some more almonds because I don't want to run out of almond milk or stuff to make almond milk and then over here I got another bag this is a 45 pound bucket of wheat berries we make a lot of our own bread and I just use this to feed my sourdough starter. We just grind it fresh. We have about half a container in the pantry, but again, I wanted to have stuff on hand. Um, so this was only like $16. We have a local mill around here, so that's why we get this kind of stuff at Costco, which is really nice. Um, so I got that. And then also we are almost out of sugar. And then also we got some toilet paper we stocked up on. We do have a couple rolls left, which probably would be enough till our next shopping trip, but again, shopping is the week of the election and I don't want to go that week just because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, so I just want to make sure that we have plenty of toilet paper in case I can't get to the store uh, for a while. I got some of these trash bag liners. This is what I use um, in our bathroom trashes. 
trash baskets. Um, I think we only have just a few left and there's like 500 bags in here. So this like literally lasts forever. Um, so I got some of that. And then also, um, our garden didn't do really well with green beans this year. So we didn't get to can green beans and I usually buy frozen, but, uh, we already have a few in the freezer. And so I just thought for a nice change, just canned green beans. And then also I got a bag of this bread flour. This was only like six something and it's, a uh, 25 pound bag. I make sourdough bread and I also use this just a little bit of this in our regular wheat bread just because it's got like more gluten because it's the bread flour and it just helps it to turn out nicer. So I have probably a half a bag in there but again wanting to stock up and make sure I've got plenty because I do make lots of bread. I got another one of these because the kids just flew through these crackers and we we're almost out so I got another one of those. I also picked up another thing of oats just so we can have plenty of oats on hand for oatmeal. And I got two bags of chips because look at all of our tomatoes here. Um, once these are ripe, I'm going to make lots of pico de gallo. We also love to eat taco salad. We'll eat these um, with chips and salsa because I canned a ton of salsa. And last time we probably went through one bag in a week. So I just want to make sure I have lots on hand. So that is everything I got on our grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.